They won't even give me a permit for the parties, man. But we, we ain't gonna stop. We gonna keep on having fun. Sean Diddy Combs is facing a tough time at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn. Recent leaked audio from CNN reveals that he is panicking inside the prison. Reports suggest that his paranoia about being poisoned and his declining mental health are major concerns. Here's to a comprehensive look at everything he's experiencing at the infamous Metropolitan Detention Center. Introduction to Sean Diddy's Legal Struggles and Arrest The music mogul found himself entangled in a high-stakes legal battle, which led to his arrest and detainment at the Metropolitan Detention Center, MDC, in Brooklyn. His arrest followed allegations, leading to the judge's refusal to grant him bail, citing concerns about his potential to intimidate witnesses and evade future court proceedings. Despite his legal team's efforts to secure his release, the gravity of the charges kept him behind bars. Diddy's legal team had presented a case, arguing that he had cooperated fully with authorities, surrendering his passport, and committing to transparency about his movements. However, the court remained unconvinced, primarily due to the secretive nature of the crimes he was accused of, many of which occurred in private settings. The refusal of bail was a pivotal moment in this saga, marking the beginning of a challenging chapter in Diddy's life. The Metropolitan Detention Center Harsh Conditions, MDC Brooklyn, where Diddy is currently being held, is notorious for its harsh environment. Reports from former inmates describe a facility plagued by difficult conditions. Inmates have frequently complained about the presence of in their food and the lack of proper medical attention, contributing to a toxic atmosphere within the facility. Furthermore, are common occurrences, making it one of the most detention centers in the federal system. This bleak setting is now home to Diddy as he awaits trial. The facility has also housed other high-profile detainees, including Ghislaine Maxwell and R. Kelly, both of whom have spoken about the mental toll of being incarcerated at MDC. The conditions in the detention center are far from ideal, with overcrowding and understaffing exacerbating the already tense environment. For Diddy, this detainment marks a stark contrast to his life of luxury. The high-profile nature of his case has brought increased attention to MDC, shedding light on the troubling conditions that detainees face within its walls. While Diddy's team is pushing for his release, the judge remains firm in her decision, citing the severity of the charges and the need to ensure that justice is served. The Allegations and Legal Proceedings The case against Diddy is built around allegations, including potential witness and the release of potentially incriminating Prosecutors argue that Diddy cannot be trusted to remain compliant with the court's conditions if released on bail. They referenced his history of using his influence to manipulate those involved in legal proceedings, painting a picture of a man who poses a significant risk to the judicial process. During the bail hearing, the judge expressed deep concerns about the nature of the alleged crimes, particularly the fact that many occurred behind closed doors. This, combined with Diddy's past the involvement of inappropriate behavior in some of the incidents, led the judge to conclude that no conditions would be sufficient to guarantee his appearance at future court dates or prevent further crimes from occurring. Diddy's lawyers, on the other hand, have vowed to continue fighting for his release, maintaining that he has made every effort to comply with the law. However, the charges and the judge's stance make it unlikely that Diddy will be released anytime soon. Diddy's Life Behind Bars Since being taken into custody, Diddy has remained under strict surveillance, with reports suggesting that he is being closely monitored due to the potential risk he poses to the case. His high-profile status also raises concerns for his safety within the prison system. Cameron Lindsay, a former warden of MDC, noted that celebrities like Diddy often become targets for mistreatment. The Special Housing Unit, SHU, where Diddy is reportedly being held, is a 24-hour lockdown facility designed to protect high-profile inmates from the general prison population. The SHU is notorious for its isolation with inmates spending the majority of their time in solitary confinement. 
While this provides a level of protection for Diddy, it also takes a significant toll on the mental health of those confined there. The lack of social interaction and the constant state of lockdown can lead to feelings of hopelessness and despair, making it one of the most mentally challenging forms of incarceration. While Diddy's fame may offer him some level of protection, it also makes him a prime target for those looking to gain notoriety within the prison system. The combination of his celebrity status and the nature of the charges against him further elevates the risk to his safety. The judge's decision and Diddy's reaction. During the bail hearing, Diddy showed little emotion as the judge denied his request for release. Sitting with his legal team, he remained composed, only taking a sip of water before being led out of the courtroom by U.S. Marshals. His legal team, however, remains determined to challenge the ruling with plans to appeal the decision in hopes of securing his release before the trial begins. The judge's decision was rooted in her concern over the nature of the crimes and Diddy's potential to commit further offenses if released. The use of inappropriate means in some of the alleged incidents added another layer of concern, as the judge felt that Diddy's issues made him a danger to the community. Furthermore, the judge noted that the crimes in question took place in private settings, which made it difficult for authorities to monitor his behavior even with pretrial services in place. Diddy's legal team is expected to return to court soon, where they will continue to fight for his release. However, the judge's strong stance on the case suggests that securing bail will be a difficult battle. The Metropolitan Detention Center has seen its fair share of celebrity detainees over the years, and Diddy's arrival has only increased public scrutiny on the facility. With a reputation for difficult conditions, MDC is considered one of the toughest federal jails in the country. In recent years, further highlighting the dangers faced by those incarcerated there. For Diddy, the combination of his high-profile status and the nature of the charges against him has made him a focal point of the media's attention. His detention has sparked widespread discussion online, with many debating the fairness of the legal proceedings and the harsh conditions at MDC. While Diddy remains behind bars, his legal team is working tirelessly to secure his release. However, the gravity of the charges, combined with the judge's refusal to grant bail, suggests that this will be a long and arduous process. The Metropolitan Detention Center, from mansions to solitary confinement. Diddy's legal troubles have drawn widespread attention, particularly given the high-profile nature of the case. His arrest sent shockwaves across the entertainment industry, with many wondering how a figure of such influence and power ended up in such a predicament. The focus of the case is on the disturbing acts Diddy allegedly orchestrated behind closed doors, which the court deemed too severe to grant him bail. The contrast between Diddy's previous life and his current incarceration could not be starker. Once accustomed to living in multi-million dollar homes and hosting extravagant parties, Diddy now finds himself confined to a solitary cell in one of the most notorious detention centers in the country. MDC Brooklyn, infamous for its harsh conditions, has housed other celebrities such as R. Kelly, Ghislaine Maxwell, and Michael Cohen. Reports from former inmates paint a grim picture of the facility. Detainees have spoken about the lack of medical care, contaminated food, and rampant within the center. For Diddy, this marks a significant fall from grace as he now faces the same conditions as other inmates, including limited access to basic comforts and poor quality food. His life of luxury has been replaced by a cell, isolation, and a menu that hardly resembles the gourmet meals he once enjoyed. Allegations of Disturbing Behavior The charges against Diddy involve allegations of orchestrating events. These disturbing events were allegedly set up by Diddy for his own personal gratification, with reports suggesting that he went to great lengths to ensure the compliance of those involved. Diddy's staff reportedly played a key role in organizing these events, stocking hotel rooms with all sorts of items for his pleasure. 
While there is uncertainty surrounding the full extent of Diddy's involvement, the allegations have nonetheless painted a chilling picture. As Diddy's legal troubles unfolded, several of his former associates began to speak out about his past behavior. One such associate, Freddie P., openly discussed the many secrets he claims to know about Diddy during an appearance on the Art of Dialogue podcast. According to Freddie P., Diddy's behavior has long been a topic of discussion within certain circles, with many feeling that his day of reckoning was long overdue. Freddie P. expressed surprise that Diddy had managed to evade legal consequences for so long, suggesting that it was only a matter of time before the authorities were forced to take action. He mentioned that Diddy's status and wealth allowed him to manipulate the system for years, but the mounting evidence against him eventually became too much to ignore. While Freddie P. acknowledged the financial grievances he had with Diddy, he emphasized the emotional toll that the allegations have had on the victims involved. Diddy's fall from power and influence. Diddy's legal issues also shed light on his complex relationships within the entertainment industry. Freddie P. suggested that Diddy often preyed on vulnerable artists, particularly those facing financial difficulties. By offering them opportunities to maintain their lavish lifestyles, Diddy allegedly gained control over them, further entangling them in his web of influence. This dynamic is said to have created an environment where individuals felt indebted to Diddy, allowing him to manipulate their careers and personal lives. For years, Diddy maintained a powerful position in both the music industry and on the streets, juggling his public persona with a darker, more controlling side that few were privy to. Those who did know about his secrets remained silent, fearing the repercussions of speaking out against someone with such significant power and reach. However, as the allegations against him grew more, many began to question whether Diddy's influence was finally beginning to crumble. The legal battle has also had a profound impact on Diddy's family, who have been thrust into the public eye as a result of the trial. His family has largely remained silent, but the media has speculated on how the case is affecting them behind the scenes. For someone like Diddy, who has long been a public figure, the personal toll of these allegations cannot be understated. His family, who once enjoyed the benefits of his fame and fortune, now find themselves dealing with the fallout of his actions. The strain on his family has only intensified as more details of the case come to light. The allegations of manipulation have undoubtedly placed a significant burden on those closest to him. The legal proceedings are far from over, and Diddy's family will likely continue to face public scrutiny as the trial unfolds. Diddy's legal team is preparing for what is expected to be a lengthy and complex trial. They have vowed to challenge the charges against him, maintaining that Diddy has taken voluntary steps to cooperate with authorities, including surrendering his passport and agreeing to report his movements. However, the severity of the allegations and Diddy's history of witnesses have made it difficult for his lawyers to secure his release on bail. The court's decision to deny bail was a significant blow to Diddy's defense, but his legal team remains determined to fight on. The next phase of the trial will likely see more witnesses come forward, adding to the growing mountain of evidence against him. As the trial continues, the public will be closely watching to see how this chapter of Diddy's life unfolds and whether his legal team can mount a successful defense in the face of such allegations. Sean Diddy Combs' Legal Struggles, A Shift from Fame to Detention Sean Diddy Combs, a prominent figure in the music industry, found himself entangled in legal troubles that have significantly altered the course of his life. Diddy's arrest, tied to accusations of misconduct, resulted in his detainment at the Metropolitan Detention Center, MDC, in Brooklyn, a place notorious for its harsh conditions. This legal battle has become one of the most defining moments of his life, bringing his private affairs into the public eye. A key factor in Diddy's legal downfall stems from allegations made by Cassie, his former partner, whose testimony was pivotal in the case against him. 
Cassie's lawsuit opened the floodgates for further accusations, leading to Diddy's arrest and the subsequent legal entanglements that have kept him behind bars. Cassie, once romantically linked to Diddy, has become central to the accusations that have led to his incarceration. Her testimony, coupled with legal action, paints a grim picture of their relationship. According to reports, Cassie was subjected to various forms which eventually pushed her to file a lawsuit. Although Diddy initially attempted to settle the case privately, the matter quickly escalated. The decision to settle, however, did not bring an end to his legal woes. Instead, it was only the beginning as new allegations surfaced, further complicating the situation. Cassie's accusations, particularly about Diddy's behavior, played a crucial role in the legal proceedings. The weight of her testimony became a cornerstone for prosecutors seeking to hold Diddy accountable for his actions. The Emergence of New Accusations As the case progressed, additional accusations came to light, with more individuals stepping forward to reveal their experiences with Diddy. One such individual, known as Little Rod, played a critical role by providing evidence in the form of video footage. This footage, believed to be in placed Diddy in an even more precarious position, as the material was reportedly tied to the events described in the lawsuits against him. Little Rod's involvement suggested that the evidence against Diddy was substantial, and it became clear that this legal battle would not be easily won. Diddy's legal team faced an uphill battle, with mounting pressure from witnesses willing to testify. Although there were attempts to settle with Little Rod, those efforts were unsuccessful, leaving Diddy vulnerable to additional legal challenges. Inmate Life for Sean Diddy Combs at MDC Brooklyn Upon his arrival at MDC, Diddy had to endure the standard intake process that every inmate experiences, regardless of status. This included being subjected to thorough searches, during which he had to re clothing and undergo a full body inspection. For someone used to privacy and opulence, these moments were undoubtedly a far cry from the life he once knew. Inside the detention center, Diddy was housed in a small solitary cell, stripped of the comforts he was accustomed to. The twin-sized bed, lacking the luxuries of his former lifestyle, was a stark contrast to the sprawling mansions he once called home. Reports from inside the detention center suggest that Diddy is treated like any other inmate, without special accommodations. Navigating life in MDC involves more than just being confined to a cell. Inmates like Diddy must follow strict procedures when attending court. This includes being woken up as early as 4 a.m., going through another search and being transported under strict security protocols. For Diddy, this process involves being placed in restraints, including waist chains and leg irons, to prevent escape during transport. Each time Diddy is moved to court, he undergoes multiple searches and must endure the lengthy wait for his trial to resume. Once in court, the day is spent sitting under tight security measures until it's his turn to face the judge. After the hearing, the entire process is reversed, and Diddy is returned to his cell at MDC. This experience has added another layer of mental strain to an already challenging period in his life. The stark difference between his past and present cannot be overstated. Once living a life of grandeur, Diddy now faces the same grueling conditions as other inmates, with no immediate relief in sight. Witness Protection and Courtroom Security Given the high-profile nature of Diddy's case, there are heightened concerns about witness Witnesses like Cassie and others who have come forward play a vital role in the trial, and their safety has become a primary concern for prosecutors. In response, Diddy's movements are closely monitored, with extra security measures in place to prevent any attempts to influence or witnesses. In court, Diddy's presence has been carefully controlled. Former correctional officers have explained that high-profile inmates like Diddy receive special transport and security when attending hearings. Although these measures are meant to protect both the inmate and the witnesses, they also serve as a reminder of the allegations against Diddy. 
With his influence waning, Diddy now finds himself navigating a legal system that appears determined to hold him accountable. Despite his attempts to secure bail, the court's refusal has kept him incarcerated, and the road ahead seems filled with legal obstacles. Legal Proceedings and What Lies Ahead The legal battle Diddy faces is far from over. His legal team is working tirelessly to challenge the accusations and secure his release from MDC. But the process has been anything but straightforward. The evidence presented by witnesses, including video footage from individuals like Little Rod, has made it difficult for Diddy to navigate the case. While Diddy's legal team continues to push for bail, the severity of the charges and the court's concerns about witness tampering have kept him in federal custody. The trial is expected to be lengthy and complicated, with more witnesses likely to come forward as the case progresses. For Diddy, this chapter of his life represents one of the most challenging periods he has ever faced. As the trial unfolds, the public will continue to follow the case closely, eager to see how it plays out and whether Diddy's legal team can mount a successful defense against the charges leveled against him. Diddy's imminent arrest, a final stroll in Central Park. Just before his world changed forever, Sean Diddy Combs was spotted casually walking through Central Park. This seemingly peaceful moment led to speculation that Diddy knew what was coming, his impending arrest. Mere hours after his stroll, Diddy was taken into custody following an incident that marked the beginning of one of the most significant legal battles of his life. Prosecutors wasted no time in seeking his detainment without bail, citing the severity of the charges against him. The accusations pointed to Diddy potentially facing multiple life sentences, casting a long shadow over his future. This dramatic turn of events marks a crucial chapter in Diddy's life, one where his fame and influence may no longer protect him. His time of freedom, it seems, could be over as the case against him unfolds in the public eye. The Raid, Search Warrants in Two Cities as Diddy's legal troubles mounted, federal agents executed search warrants at two of his properties, one in Miami and another in Los Angeles. These raids, conducted with armed agents, sought evidence linked to the activities he was accused of. The scope of the investigation suggested that Diddy's troubles were not limited to one isolated incident, but potentially spanned multiple jurisdictions over an extended period. The gravity of the situation became evident as experts drew comparisons to high-profile cases like those of R. Kelly and Jeffrey Epstein. Given the nature of the charges, Diddy faced the possibility of decades in federal prison. The minimum sentence for such offenses is 10 to 15 years, with the potential for a life sentence depending on the details of the case, including the age of the victims. As the investigation expanded, it became clear that Diddy's legal team would be fighting an uphill battle. Could Diddy's health survive detention? Diddy's arrest and subsequent incarceration at the Metropolitan Detention Center, MDC, in Brooklyn, have raised concerns about his ability to survive the harsh conditions of the federal detention system. MDC is notorious for its deteriorating facilities and the mental and physical toll it takes on its inmates. Legal experts and media outlets have speculated that, given Diddy's celebrity status and age, prolonged time in such an environment could lead to a rapid decline in his health. The stress of facing life-altering charges combined with the tough conditions inside MDC has sparked concerns that Diddy's mental state might deteriorate. Being behind bars in a facility known for its difficult conditions is a stark contrast to the life of luxury he once knew. His supporters fear that if he remains in custody for an extended period, it could have lasting effects on both his physical and mental well-being. Diddy's Legal Strategy – $50 Million Bail Proposal Facing the weight of the legal system, Diddy's legal team sought to secure his release by proposing a staggering $50 million bail. This move was seen by some as a desperate attempt to keep Diddy out of jail while awaiting trial. Others, however, saw it as a sign of the charges against him, 
when a lawyer suggests such an astronomical figure for bail, it often signals that they believe their client is unlikely to be released. Even with the proposed bail, Diddy's chances of walking free before trial are slim. The nature of the allegations and the risk of witness tampering or fleeing the country are likely to keep him behind bars. His legal team, however, remains committed to challenging the case and pushing for his release, but the odds are not in his favor. Comparing Diddy to other high-profile cases, the R. Kelly and Epstein connection. Legal analysts have drawn parallels between Diddy's case and other notorious figures like R. Kelly and Jeffrey Epstein. Both Kelly and Epstein were involved in cases that spanned multiple victims and jurisdictions with charges of manipulation and abuse. Like Diddy, they faced long prison sentences and significant public scrutiny. The similarities between these cases go beyond the charges. In each instance, the accused had built a powerful network of enablers who helped facilitate their activities. Diddy's case, much like Epstein's, involves a large scale with multiple victims coming forward to share their stories. As the case continues, it is expected that more individuals will step forward, further complicating Diddy's defense. While the charges are still allegations, the comparisons to these infamous cases paint a bleak picture for Diddy. Should the prosecutors successfully prove their case, Diddy could be facing decades behind bars, potentially spending the rest of his life in prison. As the trial approaches, the pressure on Diddy continues to build. His mental and physical health have become a point of concern, especially considering the long road ahead in his legal battle. The harsh conditions at MDC and the possibility of a life sentence weigh heavily on him, leading some to speculate that Diddy may not be able to endure the stress for long. Reports from within the detention center suggest that Diddy is struggling to adapt to life behind bars. The once powerful music mogul now faces the stark reality of spending his days in isolation with limited contact with the outside world. The psychological toll of this drastic change has led many to wonder how long he can last under such intense circumstances. If convicted, Diddy faces multiple long sentences, with each charge carrying up to 20 years in prison. The severity of the accusations, combined with the potential for additional charges, leaves little hope for a quick resolution. Diddy's legal team continues to push for leniency, but the possibility of spending decades in federal prison remains a real threat. Enablers and Complicity – The Role of Diddy's Inner Circle one of the most shocking revelations in the case has been the role of Diddy's inner circle. Just like in the cases of Epstein and R. Kelly, Diddy did not operate alone. Legal experts have pointed out that powerful figures like Diddy often rely on enablers to carry out their activities. In Diddy's case, this network of complicit individuals allegedly helped him maintain his control over victims. Women like Ghislaine Maxwell, who played a key role in Epstein's crimes, serve as a cautionary example. Diddy's accusers suggest that he also had people around him who enabled and facilitated his behavior, whether by gaining the trust of victims or creating a false sense of security. The potential involvement of these individuals adds another layer to the case, making it even more complex as the investigation continues. As Sean Diddy Combs remains in federal custody, the legal case against him grows more intricate with each passing day. From his peaceful walk in Central Park to the intense search of his properties and his time in the notorious MDC, Diddy's life has shifted dramatically. While the outcome of his trial remains uncertain, what is clear is that Diddy is facing the most challenging chapter of his life. His future now rests in the hands of the legal system, and as more details emerge, the world watches closely to see what happens next. Diddy's Legal Troubles – A Complex Web of Testimonies and Charges As Sean Diddy Combs remains entangled in a legal battle, testimonies from multiple victims have further complicated his situation. These individuals have come forward with accusations that depict a disturbing pattern of harmful behavior. One of the most alarming aspects of these allegations involves Diddy's use of 
to subdue and control his victims. According to the testimonies, these substances left the victim's complaint, which allowed him to carry out his alleged behavior. The testimonies detail injuries that victims sustained, which reportedly took weeks to heal. During this time, Diddy allegedly kept the victims hidden from the public eye, ensuring that their injuries were not visible to avoid suspicion. These accounts paint a picture of a man determined to cover his tracks. In addition to that, victims have claimed that Diddy recorded many of these incidents, using the footage as leverage to maintain their silence. These recordings, according to the accusations, were held as collateral to ensure that the victims would not expose his activities. After these events, Diddy would reportedly use to help his victims recover from the physical strain, further cementing his control over them. This method of manipulation adds another layer of complexity to Diddy's legal battle. The combination of physical, emotional, and psychological control created a situation where victims felt powerless, unable to escape the cycle of abuse. His associates were said to be involved in cleaning up after these incidents, further highlighting the organized nature of the alleged crimes. Facing life in prison The charges brought against Diddy are some of the most in the criminal justice system. If convicted, he faces a maximum penalty of life imprisonment. The severity of these charges has raised questions about whether Diddy will be able to avoid spending the rest of his life behind bars. The charges in particular point to a pattern of organized behavior, a charge that Diddy has never faced before. One of the more disturbing allegations against Diddy is that he kept his victims confined with him after assaults, ensuring that they would not be seen by outsiders until their injuries healed. This level of control and secrecy has become a focal point in the case, with prosecutors working to build a strong case against him. The government is reportedly aware of Diddy's wealth and influence, leading them to believe that he may intimidate witnesses, destroy evidence, or manipulate the legal process. Diddy's Defense Strategy Despite the overwhelming nature of the charges, Diddy's legal team has chosen to fight the case in court rather than seek a plea deal. His defense strategy, as outlined by his attorneys, focuses on the claim that the acts described were consensual. This argument is crucial to his defense, as the majority of federal cases result in guilty pleas, yet Diddy appears determined to prove his innocence. However, the odds are not in his favor. Given the severity of the charges and the strength of the testimonies against him, many believe that a guilty plea might be a better move for Diddy. Such a plea could potentially lead to a reduced sentence, allowing him to avoid life in prison. Nonetheless, Diddy's decision to fight the charges suggests that he is prepared for a lengthy and challenging legal battle. One of the more puzzling aspects of Diddy's case is his decision to remain in the United States, despite knowing that federal charges were looming. In March 2024, federal agents raided multiple properties owned by Diddy, signaling that an investigation was underway. Despite this, Diddy chose not to flee the country, a move that many found surprising. With his wealth and resources, Diddy could have easily escaped to a country without an extradition treaty with the U.S., such as Ukraine, Vietnam, or Cambodia. While such a move wouldn't have guaranteed his safety from extradition, it would have made it significantly more difficult for U.S. authorities to bring him back. His decision to stay raises questions about his mindset and whether he believed he could fight the charges from within the U.S. legal system. The Impact of Shine's Testimony, a Former Artist Speaks Out Adding to Diddy's growing list of legal challenges is the resurfacing of testimony from his former artist, Shine. Shine, who served time in prison and blamed Diddy for ruining his life, has not shied away from sharing his side of the story. Shine has made it clear that although he has forgiven Diddy for the role he played in his the relationship between the two was far from brotherly. Shine's comments about Diddy add yet another layer to the complex web of relationships and power dynamics surrounding the case. His willingness to speak out about how Diddy's influence impacted his life serves as a reminder of the broader reach Diddy once had. 
Shine's testimony, while separate from the current charges, provides a glimpse into the ways in which Diddy allegedly controlled and manipulated those around him. Diddy's Mental State As the reality of his situation sinks in, Diddy's mental health has become a topic of concern. According to reports, Diddy has been monitored while in prison. This development came after his bond was denied, leaving him in federal custody without the possibility of release before trial. Sources within the prison have indicated that Diddy has been receiving regular visits from a psychiatrist, suggesting that his mental health is under close scrutiny. For now, Diddy remains in federal custody, with no clear end in sight for the legal proceedings. His family, once a private aspect of his life, is undoubtedly feeling the strain of this ordeal as they are thrust into the public eye alongside him. The legal journey ahead will be long and difficult, with the outcome set to have lasting repercussions for Diddy and all those involved. The world watches as one of the most powerful figures in music navigates the most critical period of his life. 